Those boys did not break eye contact in that center ring. Here we go. Now the object now is for Joe to try and establish that jab because Andy will be coming at him all the time. Abel Sanchez gave me the fight plan. He said, I'm coming right at him all the time. I'll pressure Joe Parker all the time. And Andy opens up. He goes to the body downstairs. Came with the left hook to whistle past the ear of Joseph Parker. So Joseph hasn't held him off of the jab. Here's Joseph going to the jab early now. And he gets in on him and clips him. And he's just getting nice and close. He's moving his head off the center line, jabbing to the body. He's obviously got a plan of going with the right hand as well. And we know he has a good overhand right. One thing that Kevin Barry likes to do is to make his fighter make the opponent feel some power in the early going. Joe backed off a little bit that time, made him miss. He wants to try to nail him as a body shot, a good one upstairs with the left hand. Joe swings past the body downstairs. They're trying to walk him to the ropes. Andy Ruiz, nice and compact, gloves up high. Very much a chess match early on. Parker, when he's got his back against the ropes, needs to be tight. That's where he has been hit from time to time. And Ruiz will know that. He'll slide to the right and look for that right hand there. Now Ruiz caught him with the right hand. There's the jab of Joseph. That's his idea to get him off, but he wants to make him feel some power. This is a close first round. We're halfway through the first round. Getting a call from... Abel Sanchez is going to make him react, make him react. He wants him to buy into his body movement. We get kind of a bird's eye view because Abel's sitting right next to me, so we'll hear everything that he wants his fighter to do, and I'll translate that off to you. Is Andy on the assault again? Joseph ties him up and walks him back. Tony lets them go. He gave him a, gave him a good time to, to break up, and then Parker forced him to come in. Parker needs to get himself off the ropes. It's not where he wants to be. No, it isn't, and Andy makes him pay. Andy may be winning this first round because Joseph hasn't landed anything, and Andy's landed a couple of right hands. Yeah, he's getting close with that right hand. Abel Sanchez likes all of his fighters, whether it's Golovkin, Dimitrenko, uh, any, any of his guys. He wants them to force the fight. Well, at the moment, Andy Ruiz is dominating center ring. And he's landing with that left hook as well. So he's not just throwing single shots. He's making Parker pull back. There's the first combination in anger. Yeah, that's the first time that Joe got off anything. But Andy's still beaten to the punch at this stage in round number one. Joe unleashes the right hand. Didn't catch him with that right hand. There's a nice stiff jab. A little bit of punkiness by the left hand. That was the uh, clapper that Andy heard. He thought was the bell ending the round. There's the Keyed in, dialed in early. But round number one goes to Andy Ruiz. So here we go with round number two. Joe has got to establish that, and he doesn't want to get his back up to the rope. This is exactly where Ruiz wants Parker. Ruiz clips him again with a right hand. So Joseph has been hit more in the first uh, part of this fight than he has in any of his other fights, proving how tough Andy Ruiz is for Joseph Parker. Joseph hasn't landed anything big. A decent body shot but nothing really powerful downstairs for Joe. Ruiz is being patient too. He's not throwing caution to the wind. He's veering up that right hand and he's moving his head off the center line when he goes to the body. Parker just needs to be cautious about drifting back in a straight line himself. He needs to take angles and slide. Don't be surprised by the, the body style. If you're looking at the body styles, Joe's got one body style, very athletic looking, and he doesn't have an athletic looking body, but believe you me, he's an athlete, and he's in the best physical shape of his life. There's one downstairs for Joseph. I'd like to see him set that up a little bit better. It was more of a slapping shot, high risk, just going and leading with the body shot. With a minute gone, uh, Ruiz out in front in this round, and now Joe is starting to pick it up a little bit. Nobody's been shaken. Ruiz has got the, a bruise below the left eye, and Joe's got a little bruise below his left eye. Well, they're both touching each other up. This is a bit around for Parker. He's just veering up a little more. He's not catching him. And, and Andy, when he goes downstairs, is catching Joseph, and he's touching him upstairs. Joseph's, you know, using that jab as a parring and positioning position to let go with the right hand, and he hasn't been landing it. There's a couple of body shots. They'd like to try and soften up the body, but Andy's super tough. Joe finally caught him with a left hook. 
Barker's finding his range a little bit up. There's a cuffing overhand right, but Ruiz is very patient. He does have good eyes. He's not expending too much energy too early. Barker, he's got to watch when he drifts against the ropes here. And Andy Ruiz is a much better athlete, folks, than what he appears to be. And he's in the best shape of his life. He trained up at altitude. It's humid here. Joe's got a big sweat build up, and Andy comes in and puts pressure on Joseph Parker. Joseph finally cracks him, but Andy hit him twice. Well, he rolled with those shots, but they were pretty clean. Parker, again, he's just leaning onto those shots. Well, there it is. It opens up in a war. Joe got clipped again. Andy actually buckled the legs of Joe Parker here. Not good signs from Joseph Parker. He's been backed up to the ropes, and the chin is up way too high. Andy Ruiz certainly looking sharp early on in this fight. For you in Mexico, you got to love it. Anybody in uh, Latin America, because Andy Ruiz is winning round number two as well. With 10 seconds to go here, Joe hasn't opened up looking great. At some stage, they're both going to... of Joseph Parga because at this point things haven't worked well for him. He's got to establish that jab, but he can't paw. He's got to get a piece of Andy with that jab. And here, uh, Abel Sanchez next to me, the trainer of Andy Ruiz, saying, don't wait. And that's the key because he's been getting off first and making Joseph try to counter punch. And Andy has just enough head movement to make Joe miss when he's throwing his hooks. Joe hasn't landed one really big right hand. He got a piece of a right hand, but he He's pouring with the jab at this point as well. He's not touching him. There's the overhand right from Andy Ruiz. Just fell short. It's that jab to the body. He's leveraging that. And that's going to set up the overhand right coming a little later. That's not the jab that Larry Holmes taught him to throw. He's pouring with it. He's trying to line up his right hand to catch him. He goes downstairs. Joe having a little bit better round here in round three than he had the first two. And Ruiz is digging that jab right into the, the bread basket, the sternum of Joseph Parker to take the wind out of him. And he, again, he finds himself back on the ropes. This isn't where he wants to be. He needs to slide down. Parker landed a little left hook on the inside there. But Andy landed one as well. Well, Andy needs the pressure instead he waits and Joe comes at him. Anytime Joseph Parker does anything, as you'd expect, the crowd goes nuts. But really, he hasn't landed anything real definitive yet. Nobody's been down, nobody's been shaken. The heavier two blows in the fight have been landed by Andy Ruiz, and Ruiz is two points out in front in this fight right now, halfway through round number three. He's got a real sledgehammer on that jab to the body. Parker landing and doubling up. But again, he's just pausing a little bit too long there. He's allowing Andy Ruiz to get off first and set. Now that's the one thing that Abel Sanchez keeps saying, don't wait, don't wait. Don't let him get off first. And when he doesn't wait, he's very effective on Joe because Joe right now, the jab is not, you know, he's positioning with the jab instead of using it. There he uses it as a sledgehammer, but Andy Ruiz made him pay counter punch again. Well, he just rolled with that shot and came in with the overhand right. He didn't land cleanly, Ruiz, but you can see he's confident he's got Parker's rhythm at this point. Now he has. Joe hasn't caught him with anything flush yet. Downstairs he goes with the body. He's been slapping downstairs with the body a lot. But he hasn't caught no, Andy upstairs. There's Ruiz getting up first to the body of Joseph. Joseph can't let him pour in like this. Joseph goes back to the strong piston like jab this time now. And that's what he needs to do. For well, 22 seconds to go. This is a very, very close round. The round's still very much in the bag. It's good work from Parker, and he needs to do a lot more of that. He can't let Ruiz just wander forward like that. Good timing from Ruiz. He just pulled back and counterpunched. Taken on the gloves, but it looks good for the judges. Round four. So here we go to the fourth round. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here, along with the Mike Angle. We're at the Vectorine in Auckland, New Zealand. This is the WBO Heavyweight Championship of the World. Andy Ruiz unofficially out in front by three rounds. Joseph Parker's jab has not been the piston jab that he needs to set up his right hand. And Andy's been able to come through it. Neither fighter has been down. If anyone was shaking, Joe was shaking a little bit at one time. Ruiz is uh, just getting him to react to that jab to the body. He's pulling the right hand down. Uh, opening him up for perhaps the overhand right or the left hook. Parker answering back. 
Just starting to touch him a little more. Most, for the most part, Ruiz is picking them off, though. Yeah, he is. He slaps him away. Joseph with that left hand down. And now watch Ruiz try to take advantage of that. He'll touch him to the body, then come upstairs. That's what he's working on. He's touching him to the body. He realized Joseph brings that left hand down. He wants to try to crank him with the right hand upstairs. You just see him positioning himself for the left hook there. Parker misses with the right hand over the top. I haven't seen Joseph miss as much or be as, I don't want to say lazy now, because that was good work with the left hand there. There's a nice stiff left hand, nice jab by Andy Ruiz. Yeah, he's throwing it nicely up. He throws it thumb up, and it's a very quick jab. Doesn't corkscrew it. Goes downstairs to the right to the body. Good technical fight here from Andy Ruiz. Chess match with pain, and that's what boxing is. Well, if the fight plan for Joseph is to, you know, try to drag him in the deep water, and then hope that Andy runs out of gas, but you can't give away too many rounds. Well, the other thing is, Andy's not expending too much gas at this point. He's being very measured in what he's doing. Watch see Parker drop his right hand to the chest rather than going head hunting. Joe again continues to paw with that uh, left jab. But where's the right hand behind it? Touches him up for it. And this is Ruiz. what they've worked on here as he's coming into no, no, the ropes no, 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 They're no, trying no, to get Parker no, no, no. to drift short. See how quick Tony Weeks is right on it as soon as uh, something happens that needs to be straightened out. He's right on top of it. Ruiz went for that left hand upstairs. I was looking for him to throw the right hand behind the jab, but he wants to try and hit Joe with the left hook. I think if he lands the left hook, he can land that right hand. Oh, yeah, he will. He just landed it there. Uh, there are some uh, mean intentions from both boys. Stop, stop. I guess it's been very technical to this point. Ruiz outboxing him, though, landing more heavy blows, even in this round. Joseph much more tentative than I've ever seen him in a fight. Okay, stop, stop. One more, one more, one more. Tony separates him. We're out of time here in round number four. That's it. You know, he has more of a look of concern than a confident look on his face. Now, there's the jab. That's good. But this is where Andy Ruiz wants to be with Joe's back up against the ropes. Andy's got a really good jab. I've called four of his fights, including in China. He's touching him far too easily with that jab to the body. I mind seeing Parker just drift again to his right a little bit more from time to time. At the moment, he's getting walked onto that right hand consistently, just drifting to his left. Makes a miss. Joe hits him with the body, but immediately, every time Joe lands a punch, Andy counters with something. His hands are very, very quick. Joe, Joe that time with his thumbs to the outside, that is the way you throw power shots. Got to establish that jab, and he hasn't been able to do that. And, and by the way, Andy Ruiz hasn't taken a step back in this fight. He's coming forward all the time. It's the first time he's got Joe back on his heels, and that's exactly what Abel Sanchez wants Andy Ruiz to do. Back upstairs is Andy from the back line. Forearm in the face, and right away. Parker upright once again on the ropes. Something we've seen him before do in his past fights. He needs to take the initiative at this point. Andrew Ruiz, it's only a 12-round fight. Four rounds in the bag. Yeah, we're halfway stop, through stop, this stop. Uh, this uh, fifth round. And I haven't got Joe winning a round yet, although two of them are very, very close. Might be closer than what I think. But Andy's put the pressure on him. Andy doesn't take a step back. Joe hasn't been able to back him up. Even when he hits him, Andy plants his legs. Stop, stop. Now he finally pushes him back a little bit. But Andy won't go back. Coming forward all the time. Joe throws the right hand, but nothing big lands. And Andy. every time he lands something, Andy makes him pay. Andy looking for that counter shot. It's better work from Parker, but he needs to bite down on the mouth guard a little. Okay, stop, stop. Here we go. A little bit of a forearm. And Ruiz uses that forearm very well against taller fighters. He uses it quite effectively to establish a, a right hook or a, a, an overhand right. That's better work from Parker. A decent left hook that time, but Joe's backing up all the time. At some stage, he's going to play on his feet to try to force Ruiz back. Ruiz won't go back. He just keeps coming forward, and Joe hasn't been able to 
Fortson back. He's just found a little rhythm here, just found a little niche. He's kept, caught him a couple times. And it's the best round so far, Mike, for Joe. He just landed a nice left hook. He's up on his toes a little bit more, fighting with a little bit more confidence here in round five. And this might be the first round that Joseph Parker has won. We'll see how the judges. Ramon Sudan from Argentina. Selvin Longambe from the Philippines. And Ingo Barabas from Germany. And I don't know any of these officials. And that's very rare in a heavyweight championship fight that I don't know them all. So I have no idea how these guys score fights. Now here's Joseph turning it up a notch now. Maybe he got a little adrenaline shot in the corner from Kevin Barry. Well, he landed the right hand to the body for the first time. He needs to do some work to the body to slow Ruiz down. Ruiz archering back in kind with that hook to the body. Stop, stop. I got you. I'm up. There we go. Let's see if Joe can keep that uh, piston like jab in the face. But Andy does not take a step back, but he keeps coming forward all the time. Joe, they say he can't fight going backwards, but he's got a plan at some stage. There's the jab. And now we see some hand speed from Joseph Parker. What's happened here is Ruiz has just slowed down a little bit and he's coming into range. He's just lost his range. He's creeping into range and it's allowed Joseph Parker to dial in. That was one of the best, as you said, dial in jabs at Joseph's throne. Now we're seeing the hand speed of Joseph Parker a little bit. Joe up in his toes, bouncing around to the right. Sets a plan of a right hand right in the kisser of Andy Ruiz Jr. Parker still needs to... Keep moving on his feet. He needs to keep Andy Ruiz turning. If Andy Ruiz can just stalk him forward, it suits the heavier fighter. Anything, anything like the going straight back, and that's what Joe's been doing a lot. And that's what Abel Sanchez is counting on, and him going straight back. He's got to circle, get back up on the toes, get that jab going, and cut loose with the right hand. What's he waiting for? There's that left hand down, and he knows what to do with that. The first time he's drifting to his right. I might like see him come back with a left hook right hand, but now he's pushed, positioning himself, so he has to go short side. We're in the sixth round. This is the best boxing round for Joe Parker. He ties up Andy, and Tony Weeks gets right in there. Big guy knows how to separate big guys. Yeah, particularly with those heads coming close together. Stop, stop. Abel Sanchez calling very close by to us, saying, don't wait, and that's been the key so far in this round as Parker's been getting off first. Joe pulling right back has been getting off first in this round. Now here's Joe up in the toes, and that's when he's at best when he's shoving his plants. Oh, look at that! Left hook, Andy caught him on the inside with a left hook of his own, but I think Joseph landed the heavier of the two. Parker landed a right hand and a left hook, so both of them have tasted each other's power. Pretty good chins from both boys. Parker needs to be careful when he pulls out with the chin up. Yeah, and there's, there's the left hook again from Joe. He went to two jabs and then the left hook. When he doubles his jab in the left hook, this is a different Parker now in this round. This is by far his best round of the fight. Very little humidity. Andy trained up in the, the summit, Abel Sanchez's summit, where he trains all of his fighters. And he is by far in the best shape of his life. He worked with guys like Freddie Roach and Big Jeff Cremoja, but I'll tell you this, Abel's got the most out of him that I've seen and most improvement uh, of, uh, that I've seen of Andy Ruiz. Ruiz just uh, doubled up on his jab there. He, he wants to keep Parker moving back. It's, uh, when he gets him going straight back, that's the best possible situation for Andy Ruiz. The worst situation for Joe Parker. That's clearly the strategy. And they have get him going back and see him there digging down to the body he's returned back to that tactic which did work left hook right hand for parker yeah joe's uh, set up himself that time he's got to get back up on his toes and move make andy move a little bit laterally instead of allowing him to come straight in on him his andy comes straight in and gets off the left hand bit of puffiness around the right eye of andy ruiz neither uh, fighter has been down neither fighter has been shaken both guys have tested the power and felt the power of the opponent and he's got puffiness uh, by the left cheek and the right cheek. Joe's got puffiness underneath the left eye. Joe's got that jab going a little bit better in this round than before, but still can't make Andy go backwards. As long as Joe circles and doesn't pull straight back, he's all right in terms of boxing Andy Ruiz. Caught him with a little 
left hook there as Ruiz came in. Joe not committed to the jab right now, and that allows Andy to come in even more. That jab to the chest there from Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is cut over the right eye. Good work from the body there from Parker. Needs to do a little bit more of that. These rounds getting too close. Joe works downstairs with a small cut over the right eye, but nonetheless, it is a cut. Joe flips it with the left hook again. This is more of a park around. Bit of counter fighting from Parker there. Ruiz again, just slowing down a little. Claret trying from his eye. Little cut. So we've had bigger cut shaving. But Joe pulling back straight again. Here he is with his back to the ropes. He's got to get out of there. But well, he did the exact thing. Grab him and walk him back. You have two choices. Slide down the ropes or grab him and walk him back. Left hook. Now the son of left hook. And here go. And we got it. Joe's got a smile on his face for the first time. He feels like he can out-punch this guy. And every once in a while, they're going to test each other. Well, this is a good... Already, this is one of the best heavyweight fights. Two young, a long time. Two young rushing bulls not willing to take a step back. Nobody down. Andy's cut by the right eye, but it's not a bad cut. Joe, as you saw after that exchange, had a smile. This is a really good heavyweight championship fight. Well, uh, you wouldn't want anything less. This is round number eight, three quarters of the way through the bout. Ruiz got Parker back on the ropes again. Parker needs to move laterally and pop out that jab. The president of the WBO, Paco Vacasel, couldn't be here because his best pal, Luis, is not feeling well. We hope Luis gets better, and we miss you, Paco. I just like to see Parker every now and then lead with that right hand, because I think uh, Ruiz is walking into it. He's drifting just a little into that right from time to time. Joseph has a different look on his face now. He looks much more confident to me than he did in the early going. I'd like to see him slide back the other way every now and then. And Andy comes in. He still hasn't been able to push Andy back. Even when he's clipped Andy with hard punches, Andy doesn't go back. And Andy just keeps coming forward all the time. And again, Joe's okay when he circles up, but most of the time he's coming straight back. Just to go back downstairs, show him a few different looks by changing levels, Parker. Andy with that stiff jab that he throws, thumb up. And unless he's positioning to throw a right hand, there's no sense even throwing a jab like that because it won't hold Andy up. He'll come right through it. Andy backs him up. This is where he wants him. Now let's see if he explodes. He does. He goes upstairs with that overhand right, but doesn't quite catch the ear of Joseph. Take it on the shoulder, but he's looking for it now. He thinks he's timing the jab, and that's a problem with Parker Paws. Parker needs to throw a little bit of heat of his own. Not a lot in this round so far, but Ruiz has been the one stalking forward. You see that forearm. He uses that effectively on the inside. This is still anybody's round, and there's a little over a minute to go. And Andy Ruiz is going to stop the rounds from slipping away, as the last three probably have. As the left hook, right hand. Andy got hit, but he bounces right back. Man, this guy's some kind of top. Well, he got hit, but Parker took those on the... Gloves, now the inside fighting, both boys. Landed well big loose. shots, Mike. Big shots on the inside. Joe's got that look of concern again. He felt some power then, and Ruiz, too. I know it's Kevin Barry's game plan to make Andy feel some power, but Joe's felt some power from Andy Ruiz, too. Notice the way he's blinking his eyes. His hands are coming down. Andy's there for the right hand. Boy, he does a great job. He bends his, his right leg and throws the right hand. That's a killer punch just, from Andy Ruiz. Just a little subtlety and sneakiness on the inside. He just pulled himself away from the clinch, dropped that right hand in. Didn't but, land, but very effective. He catches Joe with his left hand down, and he just takes a little dip with his right knee and lets go with the right hand. And I'm sure that's the knockout punch that uh, Andy Ruiz is looking for. This is a very tough round to score. Parker needs to get that right hand of his working. Best of that, but that round, like I said, I think the judges will be split on it. So yes. I get it 77 76 going to the ninth round with Andy Ruiz out in front slightly. So here we go to the ninth round. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Mike Gango at the Vector Arena in Auckland, New Zealand. Joseph Parker, black and white trunks. 
Ruiz with all the tattoos on him coming forward. Neither fighter has been down. Neither guy's really been shaken. Joe's landing to the body hard. There was an overhand right again by Ruiz, and that's there for Ruiz. Ruiz is a, he's not allowing Joe to tie him up too. Parker uses a lot of head control, but Ruiz is good on the inside. He knows how to get his head out of the entanglement and free his hands. And that's where Parker's got to be careful. Ruiz getting to that body of Joseph. Right hand falling short there. And he's now still looking point, for it. And at this point, Mike, with a minute gone, uh, I was just about to say, Joseph really hasn't landed a bunch of anything. Now he does. Ruiz just taking the jab There's the, the jab. Counter. There's the jab. The crowd reacts to it. But Ruiz still won't take a step back. Joe's got that left hand down. That means the right hand's coming shortly. Andy's starting to tire a little. Parker needs to put his foot on the accelerator. Well, I'll tell you this, there haven't been many breathers for either guy. The Joe lead. got the worst of that. He, he got the left hook. He lands the left hook that time, but uh, that was a hard left hook that Andy Ruiz had him with. He was nice and tight on the inside after he rolled the right hand. Joe back up on his toes, more of a look of concern on his face now. Now he's got the determined look again. Ruiz comes in, forces him back. Ruiz bangs him to the body. Good option from Ruiz there, catching him as he's drifting on the right. So it was a nice reply from Parker. Yeah, Joe has hit his body hard, but it'll tell you, while his body looks soft, he's in great shape, because underneath is where the muscles are, not on the surface. And Andy's in great shape. Make no mistake about it. The best shape of his life. Parker probably winning the round off the jab but uh, still extremely close. Sliding around wide, that was better work from Parker. There's been uh, about three or four rounds in this fight that are very, very close. Joe gets the right hand through that time. He takes a big sigh himself as he looks uh, kind of whale eye and looking out of the corner of his eye. And he comes in again. He will not take a step back. Joe pouring with the jab. And he waits, he waits, he waits, and then drives Abel Sanchez crazy. I think he's just allowing, well, both of them are allowing the other. That's a good work, the body from the right hand from Parker. Tony Wicks, he's right on it, isn't he? Really puts him fully on the accelerator so far. Well, somebody's going to be stepping on the accelerators real soon because it's championship time now. It's 10, 11, and 12, and this fight is dead even. Good left hook there landed by Parker, catching Ruiz on the way. Ruiz just lost his range a little. Stop, stop, let him up, let him up, let him up. And he pounds to the body with him on the inside. Joseph walks in front of him, sets him up. He doesn't want to do anything to set himself up right in front of him, but he does. He stops and allows Andy to stock him. Back downstairs. Nice uppercut from Joe. That's the first one we've seen in Rose. That hit him. But he comes back and clips Joe with a left hook. Man, if Andy Ruiz can gobble up a shot like that, Joe's going to have a tough time trying to drop him. He's never been dropped by anybody in his career. That's as hard as you can hit a man without him going. And his uh, Ruiz, right after that, he's right on the assault again. Yes, yeah, Parker, though, right landed the uppercut. Blasted him with the right hand. Spun that of Andy Ruiz. The first time I think Parker's beating him for the punch on the inside and Ruiz is starting to tie up. That's good. Beating him to the punch on the inside is true. And you're right about that. Ruiz is so tough though. There's the double jab from Joe. Joe blinks his eyes to clear his eyes. Waiting, trying to land another big right hand again. He's landed two in this round. Ruiz comes in and lands a right hand of his own. Right up in front of Joe. Joe sets up, he stops, he's waiting for Andy to come in. Wants to count him with that right hand instead. He grabs him and walks him back and Tony Weeks stops him. Now Abel calling for the uppercut. Let's see if he can execute it. As, as Parker's walking forward, there's that sledgehammer jab to the sternum from Ruiz. Parker doubling and tripping up. That's what he's going to do with his jab, Mike, as you know. Double that jab. But he cannot get Andy to back up. That was one of the few times I've seen Andy back on his heels at all. Just there. Parker's doing a pretty good job of not allowing Ruiz to get off on the inside now. He's tying him up. And he's doing a much better job now. But this fight is so close. Every round counts. 
think Park is trying to walk him onto a right hand, double the impact. Yeah, oh, he is. He's doubling the jab, and he's looking to throw the right hand, and that's exactly what he's trying to do. Walk him right into that right hand. And he gets off with his right, but it stands up over the left shoulder of Joseph Parker. There's a right hand. Every time Joe lands something, Andy answers back with two or three punches of his own. That shows you how tough this guy is and how well conditioned he is. Because he's been hit with three hellacious right hands. Parker walking around there, keeping Andy Ruiz walking down. Now he's starting to touch him with ease with the left hand. Got to be cautious that Ruiz doesn't come with that right hand of his own. There's Joseph Parker to the left, Big Andy Ruiz to the right, and it's that close. I've got one point separating the guys with Parker slightly out in front, but there's been a lot of close rounds in this fight, and that can spell anything from judges that I don't know. Bit more urgency there from Ruiz, beats him to the punch on the inside. Yeah, that was a nice job by Andy Ruiz that time, and he's got Parker on his back foot again. Uppercut on the inside, nice by Joseph, but it doesn't offset the work that Andy did right prior to that. This is the 11th round. Parker needs to make sure he doesn't give him a second win going into the 12th round. Ruiz going back to the body. That's worked for him throughout the fight when he's done that. Remember, we gave Andy Ruiz the first four rounds of the fight, and Joseph Parker, uh, from the fifth round on, has started to come on. And we have one round that was too close to call in between, although Mike gave that to Andy, so that'll give you an idea what the judges might be thinking. It's close. Not a lot going on there. Ruiz looking for the forearm. Tony Weeks is onto that early. Now the chain goes up for Joseph, and Joseph gets clipped by Andy Ruiz. Parker just looks a little slower this round. Now he does. Andy, if, if their idea was to run him out of gas, it isn't working. Uh, there's a big exchange by both guys in there. Oh, Andy used his shoulder in there. Watch Tony. Tony Weeks says, watch it, watch it. Parker needs to stop looking at the referee and get back on action. There's a nice right hand. hand. Got him with a good right hand. Andy's tough. And this is tough man time now. Joe can't be intimidated by anything Andy Ruiz does. Because Andy Ruiz made the comment, I'll die in the ring to bring this thing back to Mexico. And I count at this point the fight would be absolutely critical. You're yeah. watching history, folks. The yeah. guy who wins this is going to be a historic character in either Mexico or New Zealand. Second win required from both boys. Parker's been initiating the clinch in this fight, in this round, a lot more. He's landed that nice right hand, but Ruiz landed some good body shots. This is anybody's round again. Both guys have had their moments. Parker takes a deep sigh and deep breath, the left hand down. Ruiz clips him with the left hand, right hand on the inside. Joe tries to get him back with the right hand, and he does, but Andy comes right after him again. Nothing Joe is hitting with has moved Andy Ruiz backward for more than a second. Here he goes, they've got the right hand on Joe's chin. Joe shows that he's able to gobble up a pretty good shot, too. That's back with the right of his eye. This is back and forth. There's only 10 seconds remaining in this round. And this is another one of those rounds. Too close to call. Both guys have had their moments. And here comes the bell again. What country wants it the most? How much gas do they have left? This is it. This is what champions have made of. This is what history has made of. Parker cannot afford to wait here. No, he can't. need to get the Ruiz. And Ruiz is not waiting. He's going right after him. Joe Paul's with the left hand. Touches him up pretty good. Ties him up. Tony separates the two. Great job by Tony Weeks. He really hasn't allowed any shenanigans whatsoever. Parker needs to be cautious with that right hand because Ruiz is now starting to look for it. Tony Weeks, sensational referee, and then a typical job. They both need this round, and I'll tell you this. Joe had better pick it up because Andy looks more aggressive right now. He, he hasn't landed much clean. He's moving forward as he has throughout. Trades, he trades. They're both in fine shape. The pace has been pretty good for a heavyweight championship fight. In fact, it's been terrific. Right hand lead. Joe comes to the body. Andy comes back and clips Joe with the left ear. Parker really hurt him with that body shot, but Ruiz is some kind of tough. Oh, is he tough? Another sledgehammer jam that Ruiz walks into. I think Parker, if he can find an extra gear, Ruiz is very tired. 
They're both a little on the fatigue side. Joe has got to land something really heavy if he's going to try and drop this guy. Andy reaching now. There's almost an impatience for Andy Ruiz right now. And it's settled down. Joe goes to the left hand. Beckham steals to the right. But count it again. Every time Joseph Parker lands a shot on the head and body of Andy Ruiz, Andy calls him. Andy landed that beautiful lift cut there. Halfway through the final round. A minute and 30 seconds to history now. Minute 16, 15. Who wants it the most? A minute to history. This is unbelievable. Already the best heavyweight uh, championship fight it's seen in maybe a decade. Can't think of a better one. This Parker, is something else. Parker backing out, Ruiz moving forward. 56 seconds to go in the round. Hey, is a draw out of the question to this thing? Who That's knows? Very close at this point. Look at this. Parker making a miss, but he needs to make him pay for making a miss. 40 seconds, 40 seconds of history, 35 seconds now. Joe loads up the right hand. Ruiz keeps coming forward. They both want to get out one lazy shot at the end of this fight. And he's got a position. Joe comes back with the right hand. Parker's getting in position to throw that left rip to the body, but he's not letting it go. 15 seconds. Last 15 seconds of the fight now. Is anybody that something big? Joe lands a big shot. With less than 10 seconds to go, Andy comes forward. You're watching history, folks. Who's going to be? The center ring, please. Listen, you can hear a pin drop in here now, except for the music. Ladies and gentlemen, can we please have a round of applause for these two fighters? After 12 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge Lagumbai scores the bout 114-114 draw. Judge Cernan and Judge Barabas call this fight 115-113 for your winner by majority decision and new WBO heavyweight champion of the world. the new WBO heavyweight champion of the world. Go ahead, Monty. Joseph Parker, in the Marsden College yearbook, you said that one day he wanted to be heavyweight champion of the world. Champ, how does it feel? New Zealand, thank you. All right, champ, I'm not going to let you get away that easy. How does it feel? Yeah. Wow, what a dream come true. No, thank you to Andy Ruiz and his team for coming down and putting on a great, great hard fight. We told you guys that Andy Ruiz is a great fighter with a lot of speed and a lot of power, and he showed that tonight. We both put our heart in there. We both fought hard. But like I said in the beginning, I'm going to be champion of the world one day. Here I am. Joseph, you're only 24 years of age. You've got two countries who back you, support you emotionally and financially. What's it like to cope with that pressure at such a, a young age? Hey, what a great feeling it was to come in here and represent Samoa New Zealand. Put on a great performance. And I'd like to thank all the sponsors who jumped on board to make this possible and make this happen in New Zealand. Thank you to Duco Events for all the hard work. Burger King, Mad Butcher. Thank you to my trainer, Kevin Barry, for all our hard work. And, uh, Two dollar whoppers on me. KB, I think the early rounds went into Ruiz Jr. Obviously, he had to say a lot to Joseph to get him back on his game. He didn't seem to have the rhythm early on. What did you say in the corner? 
I just told him to stick to the game plan. You know, not start to follow Andy's. Just do what we were planning on doing. Um, you know, this is a tr tremendous performance. He had to dig really deep, and Andy Ruiz is a champion, and I think these guys will fight again. Mate, in the three years that you've been with Joseph Parker, at the start of this year, we're in Samoa. Did you expect by the end of the year you're going to have the WBO World Heavyweight Champion? No, but it's, uh, you know, dreams can come true. Joe's a really hard worker, and he deserves everything that he gets, you know. So I'm so proud of this young man, and I'm proud of all those who have supported us in the last four years. There's been a lot of people that have actually helped this, uh, achieve this journey. Can you give us some insights of what happens next with this belt and Joseph Parker, your man in the stable? Well, I tell you what, those decisions will come down to uh, Mr. Higgins here. Um, he'll be able to tell you what we're going to do with the belt, but I can tell you this, Joseph Parker's going to have a break because he really deserves some time off. David Higgins, just one question to you. As the man from Duca who's made this all possible, you had a dream, you had a vision, and it's come to reality tonight. What do you have to say about that? I would say it's, it's Joseph Parker, his parents, his family, his trainer. It's the fans who paid for the pay-per-view. They contributed. The ones who stole it certainly didn't. But it's all, it's all of us that contributed. So what I have to say is we made it. We, we did it. And Joseph Parker, everyone did it on the back of you. Those big shoulders for a 24-year-old young man who just has so many expectations and pressures, and you did it, and you did it so well. The final words for the WBO heavyweight champion of the world, Joseph Parker. Hey, thank you to my team. Thank you to the PM, Samoa and New Zealand for being here today. Let's celebrate New Zealand. We did it. Love you all. Thank you. Here is your champion.